Um, as fathers, of course, we want the absolute best for our kids. Um, plus, you know, we all know that being elite, for example, in, in you know being the elite soccer player like Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, they, they can make real good money and become famous, and you know, we all want that for our kids. So, oh, I can understand if father said like, oh, yeah, that's what I really would like. Um, in that sense. You know, it, it is of course obvious that that you know as soon as your kid, if as soon as you see him, like oh yeah, you're gonna push him. You know, hey, play soccer. You know, keep playing soccer, especially here in Spain. You know, all the kids they they all need to play soccer. <laughs> you can tell that at least half of them don't even want to be there. But you know, anyway. Um, so is this something that that fathers or parents should do with their kids? Just you know, as soon as possible, start to push them towards um, one one sport and, and specifically in this case of course you know you, you see them here in, in regards to soccer yeah so while while children are still kind of under that peak height velocity stage then it's actually more important that they they see a variety of stimulus um if you've got a child who's got that that ability you obviously need to get enough hours of training in the in the sport specific skill and start building that up but the there's, there's still a lot of um, a lot of the sports coaches are still kind of catching up really on the fact that actually if you overtrain children at a younger age with too much of a single stimulus, you're, you're still trying to train the kids to train at that stage, not to compete. Although there is competition and all the rest of it. If you push that too far, then you actually end up with um, potentially a, a kid that could be a professional but has now got such a one dimensional stimulus in their body and an overload um, overuse that they're now prone to injury. Um, they're not balanced in what they do and, and they do lack perhaps movement literacy outside of the sport that they've got. So, you know, someone who's playing um, football, for example, um, perhaps hasn't got that hand-eye coordination with the, with their upper body because they, they're kicking, but they're not used to throwing things. I mean, a really good example of, um, of that is, is like um, kids that do rowing or something like that, or, or cycling, where they're not actually up on their feet and, and controlling their balance. And if they're overdoing that, then um, you'll find that their, their actual agility and movement's really poor. But even, even the children that are targeting a, a sport um, and specifically working on that to that intense detail that you're actually there's not a lot of the kids that are peaking when they're kids become the best professionals as an adult it tends to be you know as a sports coach you're not looking for the kids that are optimum at a young age you're looking for the because they're almost it's a dip the difference between being adaptable and adapted so the kids that are peaked as a kid that's kind of their peak they're kind of that that's it you know they've they've used they're adapted at that age and as an adult you've got less scope to improve them whereas the ones that are still improving still getting better they're still at a good level but they've still got so much scope to improve and they've not just used up all that potential early on they're the ones that become the real professionals in the future um, and that kind of approach to encouraging a multi-discipline um, multi-sport approach multi-activity as a kid is really really important um, although a lot of the sport specific coaches still don't really understand that yet that's that's kind of an, an evolving science and that's been been shown to be true but of, of course that that sort of traditional mentality is to get better at sport you just need to do more of that sport um, when actually there's there's more to it than that and having that scope and that capacity as an adult to to grow further is really what's going to take you further as a professional great thank you for that answer